So over there on the right in the highlighted pieces, you'll see that I have a restriction to the Denver office and the San Francisco office. So this is a, a wages report. It's just gonna pull the wage expense on the bottom here. It's, it's restricting to my natural account of 5,000. And then it's also restricting above to my tree units. And then in the lower left, you'll see what it looks like. Um, in this case, it doesn't look like it's a very good example because the two have the same exact values, but uh, the gist of it, it would be that you would get your Denver wages for the sales folks, the service folks, um, the same for San Francisco, and then you could show them across your column layout in one report by using a reporting unit restriction and restricting to, restricting to your department, sorry, to your, your uh, natural account. All right, this one here, um, I've seen it used a couple of times, but not many folks are aware of it. You have the ability to utilize your start and end dates for each month to grab different uh, ranges of data. If you look in the highlighted section in the lower right, you'll see this report is grabbing periodic information, but it's grabbing a week at a time. So the first column grabs week one, the second column grabs week two, and so forth. In the lower left, you can see that it, um, we're using some auto headers. So it keeps flipping off the screen here. That are showing up here, giving you the dates that are in that range. They work in conjunction with the top part here. So it's pulling the start and end date using these dynamically. All right, the next one. Um, I use this one when I'm trying to figure out uh, where some balances might be wrong and I just need a good indicator of which account is on each line. Um, but sometimes people like to use it just for display purposes as well. And that is to get the actual account that you have listed in your row format onto your report when you run it. All you need to do to accomplish this on the left is use this account header. So this is a column type that will make it so your accounts show up when you run the report. Here is an option that you can utilize to make a rolling 12 month report. I, I spoke of earlier how you have the ability to be kind of, uh, you can fluctuate with how you use the, the periods and, and the period covered option and the fiscal year within the column layout. Well, here you'll see that they're utilizing a period of base minus 11 to base. So when you run this report for December, you're gonna get a periodic total of all 12 months within, with December and the prior 11 included inside of your, your header. So you could run it for any month of the year and it's gonna give you a rolling 12 month total. This was a newer feature added in one of the, I don't know, the later service packs, but probably about service pack eight or higher. When people would run reports, they would have to come in here and they would have to manually type in which fiscal year it was for until they added the option of the, including base and base within the column. So when you run this for 2020 or May of 2020, you can use the auto text headers inside of your column layout to automatically or dynamically, I should say, grab the year and the month. 